We're here with head volleyball coach Rich Bowers after the Lightning's five-set victory over Felician in the season finale on Saturday. And coach, you you got that win in the conference to end the year. While there haven't been a lot of positives, you're able to go out with a victory. Give me your initial thoughts on on the victory today. Well, actually, the last two games we lost to Philly U and Wednesday night in five. So I was hoping we could win today, continue to build upon that, so we can carry that into next season. That's what I'm hoping for. This is a springboard to next season. Pretty much have everybody coming back. I don't really lose anybody, so I have all my starters coming back. So to finish on a positive note and be able to carry that into next season will be really big for us. Obviously, you want to send the seniors out on a, on a winning note, and you were able to do that today. Uh, Stephanie Klein and Sharima Green both leave this program. Talk about their impact on the program over the last several years and, and what they've meant to this program. Well, they've, they've both been really positive uh, influences on the whole team. They both aren't starters, but it's important to have really, really good, strong practice players to push your starters all the time, and they did that, and they, and they accepted the role. It's not always hard to, easy to accept that role, but they accepted the role, stepped up, and did a really good job, and they helped us become a better team. Obviously, Katie McCoy has been the star of this team, and today she put a, a, a sort of a, a topping on the season with a, matching a career high, 24 kills, and also becoming the all-time leader in kills from the career standpoint. Talk about what she's meant to this team over the course of the season, especially being a captain as a junior. Well, one of the reasons she's a captain is because of her skills, but also because of her leadership ability. She's, she's very competitive. She hates to lose. I mean, to her, there's nothing worse in the world than hating to lose. And uh, she just carries the team sometimes. She gets them pumped up. She's, as a captain, she's willing to, to take people aside and talk to them when they're having bad games. And she's always a positive influence on our team. Now you get ready for the off season. What kinds of things are, are you uh, looking to work on um, to get this program a little bit in, in a better direction heading for 2014? Biggest thing is we saw this year as coaches was that we were not consistent. We, if we passed well, we didn't hit. If we hit, we weren't passing well, so we couldn't hit. So when we were able to put those two things together, and we did it, you know, we did against Wilmington, and we sort of you know, had a really good set, one good set where we put everything together and we competed and we beat them. When we put anything, we put it together on a consistent basis, we could play with anybody. So we, that's what we have to work on in the offseason. We have to become consistent. We have to be able to pass. We have to be able to hit at the same time. We can't do half of one and half of the other and win. Coach, thanks for the time. Congratulations on the win, and good luck with the start of the offseason. Thank you very much, Eric.